Welcome to the first installment of a big series of previews for the 2023 Run for the Million here on Up for Discussion. Today we're going to highlight one rider and one horse to focus on to get you guys introduced into the program here. And I'm going to start with Cilantro and Danny Tremblay. Cilantro, his registered name is Tinker with Dreams. He's a by Tinker with Guns and out of a mare named This Chick's Done Dreaming that uh, Rhodes River Ranch owns and has been a great show horse and a great producing mare for a lot of time. Uh, in fact, I've rode offspring out of her and have really liked the ones I've had. So we're going to get into this and I'm going to take the best run I think I ever saw Danny have on this on this horse, which is his 2021 NRBC championship run or co-championship run. And we're going to highlight it. I'm going to talk over the run and then we're going to come back at the end and I'll give you some final thoughts on the horse. And here we are back at the 2021 NRBC with Danny Tremblay and Cilantro. This is the run that they make that leads them to being the co-champions at this event down in Katy, Texas. When he comes in, you'll see one of my favorite things about all of Danny's horses, but the thing that makes this horse so special, that makes Cilantro so special. Danny's got a drape hung to him, and he's going to challenge him right off the bat. And this horse honestly stays right between the lines. Huge run in. Big, big stop. And a very trademark thing of Danny's program, Danny Tremblay's program, is that the quick foot in the backup. Really, really love a horse that will try that hard and stay that honest all at the same time. Now, in this right turn that's upcoming, you're going to see one hiccup step. Don't let it detract from the other three turns and how awesome and quick this horse gets his feet around. And yes, it's not a traditional style of having his feet underneath him, but man, he's so quick-footed, so athletic, and watch his top line as he spins left and the first three turns of that right turn. This thing does not move his top line. It is pretty, beautiful, athletic. It's everything we look for from a judge's perspective and everything we look for from a horse trainer's perspective that we want to have happen. As we wait for him to take off, I do also want you to pay attention here. This is pattern 10, obviously, so he's going to run two big fasts. And ignoring what Danny's hand does, because you can put your hand anywhere on this thing, watch Cilantro run these circles as big strided, as hard as he can run, as pretty as he can run. And even if Danny's hand is up, does that horse ever lean? And even with his hand up, they're still slacking the reins. This is, this is phenomenal right here. This might be what this horse does best is run those circles. Now, his shutdown is on the money in the center. He had a slight take an extra stride to make sure he was safe, but I love this right here. As he comes around here, oh, there's expression, there's kindness, there's paying attention, and there's check back in as soon as, as, soon as he's asked. That is obedience, that is willing, that is what we want to see from a judge's standpoint, from a showman standpoint, and from a fan standpoint. That is what makes these horses great. And don't think this horse you know, it hasn't had a good run like this since then. He was second at Cactus in the qualifier with a 29, and the run might have been as good as this one, but I chose this run because it's closer to what they're going to run at the million. But, I mean, just look at that. Even there, an older horse like this that's been run as hard by as many people as he had at this time, Danny just barely guides him. That horse moves off of it. That is smooth. That is pretty. And that's buttery on that lead change. That's what you want to see when it comes time for a horse like this to go make this run. And now you're going to see a little, a little thing here that shows you the honesty of this horse. He goes to burst. Danny holds him. And he came back. How many horses have we seen lately that if they make that strong move, they aren't coming back? That shows you how good-minded Cilantro is. It shows you how well-trained he is, all the good things you can say. And then he runs down there and drags his butt backside all the way down to touch his hocks on the ground, which is what we want. Same thing. Watch this corner. He turns this corner, and Danny does start building him early, but he waits on him. The horse waits on Danny and then goes. And then once he goes, he tries his backside off. Huge stop, wicked rollback. Better rollback than the first side, obviously, but that was wicked, wicked rollback. This horse is so quick-footed and athletic laterally. He's so He's got such a big move to the ground stopping, and his best maneuvers is circles, which we saw last year judges are willing to reward at the run for the million. And you're going to see this one again. Danny sends him a little early, gets the big long run and that big old pen and Katie, and right there, 
that's a big, big finish. Can you can you nitpick the one little step he has standing up to rebalance? Probably, but that's a great run. And with that, you see why Danny and Cilantro are such strong threats for this deal. Easily a top five contender, very likely a contender for the top of the mountain in this in this competition. He's an older horse. In fact, he's tied for the oldest horse that I know or that I think is going to be competing in this at 10 years old. But Danny's a proven showman. The horse, as you just saw, is a proven talent. We'll see where they end up. And when I get to my final predictions episode at the very end of this, you'll see where I think he's going to end up. Danny's a great guy, and the cilantro is a great horse, easy to cheer for. Let's hope that they have the best run that they possibly can and end up as close to that winner's circle as they can get. So I'll see you all tomorrow for episode two.